Welcome back everybody. It is the end of the year, the end of 2023, and this is the time where plenty of people are grabbing their pencils and pens, a piece of paper, and writing down what are their New Year's resolutions. Now, have you seen yourself writing down resolutions in the past only for you to fail, only for you to not even come close? Now, I want to share with you some of the things that I learned in the cult and a bit about how I think about things after leaving the cult. But going back to writing down resolutions, starting resolutions, uh, one of the things that was was brought to us in the group that I was in was that resolutions, that has to be a thing of the past because we make all these resolutions, but you know what, remove that word and now instead substitute it with decision. You need to start making the decisions that you need to reach your goals. You need to make the decisions, not have a wishy-washy type of mentality. mentality. You need to be firm in your decision and get things done. No more being nice to yourself, no more mercy. You got to be all out hard and you got to reach those goals so forget resolution make a freaking decision now but i don't want to stay in that call like mentality so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a few elements from that experience and merge it with my current lifestyle and share it with you the audience so that maybe by me sharing what it is that i experienced and grabbing some of the positives and merging it with my current lifestyle, it may help others to perhaps move on or to find a bit of a balance. So one thing about cults is that they're very all in or all out. There's no middle ground. There's no gray space. It's either black or white. So when I would hear, remove the word resolution because it sounds, it sounds so soft. And plus, you're not even making your resolutions. You're not fulfilling them. And when they were substituted and say decision, it sounded really badass and it sounded like wow you're really going to make the decision to be a better better at whatever it is that you want to be better at but a, a sad thing about cults in many instances is that they also enjoy seeing you fail and there is this guilt and shame which is which is attached to it and so yes i would after that first year i examined myself i examined my new year's decisions and i would say damn i i haven't even come close and what would what would happen is that i would feel guilty i would feel shame it's like well i'm not a good member i'm not a good brother i'm not a good person and so now now that i've been out and i've been examining well what the hell is a de- uh, what is a resolution what is a decision and decisions are good There's nothing wrong with making a decision. You need to make decisions in life. You need to start somewhere. But what is a resolution? A resolution is when, let's say, let's say it's the end of the year, which it is, and you look back. You look back at all the previous decisions that you've made, and you see where you faltered. You see where you've gone in the wrong direction because of decisions decisions you made. Now you examine yourself and now you tell yourself, okay, what are things that need to change? What are goals that I need to make to make myself a better person? Not necessarily a better cult person, but just a better person in general. You go through examination of your past decisions and then you make a resolution. What it is that you want to change, what it is that you want to grow in, But you can't just make random resolutions. You have to also know yourself. What what is it that I need to resolve in my life? And if you don't examine yourself, then how do you know what it is that you need to resolve? So again, you go back and you examine your decisions. And so decisions are something that we make every day. But a resolution is something that where you can look back at those decisions, examine them, and then tell yourself, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm going to work on it. And the thing with 
But here's the difference, because with a decision, when you make a decision and you don't fulfill it, there was this feeling of guilt and shame. And I'm not saying that everybody's going to feel like that, but that's what I felt like. I felt like a loser. I felt like, damn, I haven't been able to, to reach that goal. Now that I've changed my mentality, now the way I think is, you know what? I made bad decisions. Okay, I'm going to examine them. I'm going to weigh them. I'm going to look at also the good decisions. Look at where I'm good at. Look at where I'm lacking. And the resolutions I make are going to be goals that are attainable. And not only that, I'm going to make a strategy. And even if I screw up in my strategy and I find myself six months later, not even coming close, close to fulfilling that goal, I think that the the important part is the resoluteness. Because when you make decision, decisions, the way our thinking was, you had to, you, you couldn't fail, you couldn't screw up. When you have a resolution, you are aware of the challenges that are going to come your way. You are aware that there are going to be days where you may not be able to even come close to doing whatever it is that your goal is. But when you are resolute, when you have that awareness, you're not going to give up. Even if you fail, even if you screw up, you are resolved to get up again. You are resolved to keep going. And with that past of just make a decision, when I had the mentali- that mentality, I'll tell you, every time I didn't make that decision, every time I didn't make that New Year's decision, New Year's goal, it was attached with a lot of depression, a lot of self-loathing, looking down on myself and telling myself, dude, freaking, you're a loser, dude. Like You couldn't keep your New Year's decision. But when I changed that, and yes, not not looking negatively on decision instead trying to look at it, look at it in a positive light and also looking at new year's resolution in a positive light i think it really impacted me in a very uh, more positive way a better way and it's helped me to keep going and to keep going strong and even when i'm very far from reaching my goals i just remember i got to be resolute i need to work on myself and give it my best and so that's it for today i hope you all have a great new year's and if you have a new year's decision or resolution it's up to you but i wish you all the best and i hope that all of you can reach your goals and if it's hard for you to for you to reach your goals to reach your resolutions don't give up and i'll be cheering you on and hopefully you cheer me on too that's it for today have a good day and happy new year's